Our philosophy is if you keep doing all those drills slightly incorrect all the time, it takes so much longer to get better. Okay, so we have, if, if you take what we did just so far, okay, we did four drills for the start, two drills for pillar two. Basically, you boil it down to you're trying to stay separated, okay, to make it easy to get to this point so that you can come around and we're going to apply speed. That's really it. So again, the philosophy or how I like to teach is I'm going to give you a bunch of information so that you understand all the reasons why we're doing this. Then you're going to be sold, you'll do it, and you'll improve faster. Does that make sense? So a lot of you guys are like, ah, ugh, this doesn't feel right, right? And that's kind of normal. But you want to be able to understand what you're not doing because that's how you're going to really make a big jump. On average, we'll see most of our throwers, most of our discus throwers will improve 20 on the low end, 30 plus feet in the first year. They actually train from this time, you know, November to the, to the season, they'll improve at least 30 feet. Okay, opening season best on my throwers, like the first meet, this isn't their season, my thrower record is 28 feet. First meet. Okay, so one of my kids PR'd 60 feet in 12 months in the discus. Went from 124 feet to 100 and, well, he went 56 feet. Went to 180 feet as a junior. Okay, what we focused on are these things. And they'll tell you, anybody who I've coached will tell you, I will harp on this over and over and over because this is the key. When you figure this out, everything changes like that. So you could struggle, struggle, struggle. You struggle with this for a month. In four weeks, it'll click. You're going to take a big jump. You do your old stuff where you're comfortable. You'll struggle throughout the season. You'll improve, but you won't make the big dramatic improvements. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we get to round that left. Pillar three is apply speed, right? Maximum speed. Lower body speed is the whole key. How fast can you move? Most throwers like to move fast, and they move their upper body. It's not about that. This has to stay relaxed and back and the lower body goes as fast as it can go. That's the key. How quickly can you move the legs? That's what's gonna keep you maintaining that separated position. Move yourself slow, it's harder. Move your lower body fast and keep this back. It's real easy to get and keep the discus back or the shot put back. At the end of the day, that's all you're trying to do. Is get this thing back, keep it back so you can sling it. It's really how it boils down to. But you gotta learn all this stuff so that you can get yourself to a point to focus on that. Okay, so the next drill, when we load, we're gonna jump. Okay, so we're jumping off the left and pulling the right. That's your puddle jump drill. We do three little progressions. So we're gonna come around, assuming we've done all of this here and we puddle jump. Push off the left, that's simple. Don't move your upper body, stay separated, that's the goal. Okay, here we go.